Because let me tell you why I want to watch how artifact farming should actually be fixed in Genshin Impact. It's because I have made so many suggestions since like day one. Since the game first came out, there was obviously an issue with like the way that the artifact system works. Obviously, it's pretty much every gacha that has this issue, but this one is a little bit way worse just because it has the addition of Electro, Dendro, Animo, Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, Physical, Attack Percent, HP Percent, all on one fucking goblin. Like in my opinion, the majority of artifact farming would be fixed if they just made a elemental damage bonus goblet physical damage goblet but i'm curious to see what my fellow fellow creator red flame has to say because at a certain point like i've done so much constructive criticism on this game it's just dismissed as slander so let's see what this other person says and how adjacent it is but uh, i'm assuming they're gonna say it in a more calm term to where it's received as such True. artifact farming in genshin impact sucks so good might as well say it twice we all know it this is nothing new the system is well i wouldn't say we all know it i would say some people who play with their eyes open when they open the game know it but i would definitely not say all because if we all knew it was bad then it would probably have been changed by now unfixable but the suggestions which you've probably heard up until now won't actually work okay i would like to know why my all elemental damage cut bonus would not work or at least not as well as you'd think Okay. But let's take a step back first. So obviously the decision to make artifact mm. farming so tedious and Sweet. unending was intentional True. to get players to continue playing the game. True. But the implementation is so terrible True. that it has the opposite effect on players like me who are completely unmotivated to even try. True. Story time. In 1.2, when the Blizzard Strayer artifact set dropped, I farmed every day that patch to get a 5 star cryo damage cup yep. or crit damage hat yep. and never got either. That experience scarred me so much that now I don't even bother farming artifacts for new characters and when needed, I will just steal them off of others. 100%. And I'm sure there are others who feel the same way I do. So far, the only direct adjustment we've gotten to the artifact farming process is the introduction of 3 to 1 rerolls through strong boxes. But even if they were to add- And that fix fucking blows. Add them to the rest of the artifact sets, that wouldn't do anything about solving the root of the problem. So it turns out that after I finished recording this, they announced during the 3.0 reveal that they yep. are adding artifact strong boxes for the artifact sets that were released up to version 1.2, which is admittedly nice because you can convert sets you don't want into sets you do want. Yeah, but you can also just m make sets that are good and not make sets that literally no one wants. Here's the way that you fix artifacts. Make all elemental damage bonus cups a thing and then when you go to an artifact domain with two different artifacts you get to pick which one you want to farm for is that easy like why is there a 50 50 chance to get a innately bad piece of shit artifact but still doesn't change the rest of this video to fully understand what about artifact farming is the root of the problem and then discuss the pros and cons of some other ways in which it can be fixed to give the system a much healthier gameplay loop i want to meet somebody who has better takes than me in my opinion it's different if you think that they have better takes but it's way different <laughs> For me to believe it okay so i want to i want to bow down to this man that you are you are the uh superior man there are so many cascading levels of rng that make it very unlikely to get what you want True. and essentially impossible to get exactly what you want yep. to give further context to what i'll be discussing here's a breakdown of the seven ways random number generation is a factor in artifact farming i think the rng system is good if we had more possibilities in order to access that rng system it still gives players a rush before they roll the problem is, is when you get so many artifacts that cannot be used even if they roll perfect that there's just no point to fucking roll them that's the issue so i i, I want to know what he's saying here i'm not confident enough to be able to calculate the exact probabilities for every outcome okay. but this visualization should be enough for you to grasp just how crazy stupid the system is Okay. So for every 20 resin you spend, you are guaranteed at least one 5 star artifact if you are above adventure rank 45, and this will be the starting point. Okay. From there, you can get a piece from either of the two artifact sets available in each domain. After yeah. that, there are 5 different artifact pieces in yeah. each set. Flowers and Feathers always have flat health and attack as their main stats yeah. respectively, yeah. but Sands, Cups, and Hats each have a multitude of options, yeah. and those options are not evenly weighted. Besides the sands, which are pretty easy to get attack on, yep. specifically getting the generally most desirable main stats are rare. 5% for a specific elemental damage bonus and 10% for a specific crit stat. Like, do we not see how 
fucking crazy this cup is. One, two, three, four, five. And by the way, just to show how fucking based my take is, if they think the sands are fine with one, two, three, four, five options, who does one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. You could condense one, two, three, four, five, six into one, and it would still have more options than sands of eon, meaning it's very else. Oh, now it's 12 because of Dendro. Like, do, do you see why it should just be all elemental? damage bonus for some reason elemental mastery is even lower than those so to get that cryo piece i mentioned earlier assuming even distribution of sets and artifact types that's a one in 200 yeah. probability in other words it would take on average a hundred domain runs to get just one of these and we're not even at substats yet <laughs> this is where it goes from oh, a rough grind shit. to utterly ridiculous a five star artifact is generated with either three or four subsets on it each coming from a list of 10 potential stats. Yeah. A subset cannot be the same as the main set, so in most cases it's 9, but it's not like it matters because again, the distribution is always weighted towards flat HP, attack, and Wait, so these fucking things are actually weighted against you? It, it's not an equal thing? It's intentionally weighted against you? Dude, I didn't even know that shit. Are you kidding me? That's so cringe. And defense, and against crit rate and crit damage. Most gotchas are like this though, doesn't mean that it's right to do. That's fucking cringe. What are you talking about? Image. Then, each subset has an internal tier value from 1 to 4, which determines its base value and growth per level. And finally, which of the 4 existing substats gets upgraded every 4 levels on your artifact comes down to luck. Even though I'm a huge proponent of the idea that your artifacts aren't automatically trashed just because they have a few undesirable substats, the whole system is clearly way too harsh. Now, obviously the most straightforward solution pain, would be bro. to remove layers of RNG by letting players have some form of choice in the outcome before the RNG roll begins. In a very ideal world, most of them would be removed, but we need to stay realistic. So which would be the yeah. best to remove if I had to choose one? Uh -huh. Choosing the artifact set would seem good from a logistical standpoint, but that only eliminates the first 50-50 and wouldn't really change much. Yes, it would. Because the feeling of not getting any artifact that would be usable even if it's good is soul crushing. That would actually change the, I guess, uh, the morale of players quite a bit if every single artifact they got had a chance to be good because it's the correct set. It would actually change a lot. And it would eliminate the 50-50, which by the way would change a fucking lot. Picking the type of piece would be much better and is actually what's going to be implemented in Hoyo vs. the next game, Zenless Zone Zero. Any level deeper than this wouldn't really work since the possible outcomes are then dependent on whatever kind of piece you receive. But even if Genshin did decide to implement choosing the type, I still think it would only be a surface level solution and not fix the core of the issue. At the end of the day, what I find to be the biggest problem about artifact farming isn't just the insanely rare chance of getting a perfect artifact, but rather the fact that I can spend an infinite amount of time farming just to end up not getting anything close to what I want. I strongly believe that players would be much- I still firmly believe in the ability to choose which artifact that you want to get, plus the all elemental damage bonus thing. So I'm, I'm curious, I'm, I'm ready now to hear your solution. Much more willing to go through the incredibly repetitive process of farming if it was guaranteed that they'd eventually get the artifacts they desire. This concept is absolutely nothing new. In fact, it's already implemented in Genshin and other areas. For example, the pity system on wishing. We kind of take it for granted nowadays, but not all gacha games even have it, making it possible to spend thousands of dollars without ever receiving the feature. Bro, did you did you just use Diablo Immortal as your basis to try to make Genshin Impact seem good? Did you actually just pick the worst gacha game ever created? Jesus Christ. It's like trying to compare your, like trying to hype up your boyfriend. You're like thinking about why they're so good. And you're like, well, at least they're not a fucking racist. It's like, yeah, that's true. I guess my boyfriend is better than a fucking racist. I guess that's fair. So I guess I should be grateful. Well, chat, Genshin Impact is better than Diablo Immortal, so I guess we should all just not complain. True. Any truers in the back? Yo, chat, any truers? Character and others make it less accommodating by having it not carry over from banner to banner. Uh. Having a generous pity system not only makes the user experience much better across the board, but it can push players that wouldn't normally spend money to buy Primo Gems if they know they are guaranteed to get that character they- I really don't think that you're thinking this artifact system pity system through, unless you have a really good way of doing it. 
that just does not sound like a good idea. And Hoyaverse would not implement that. And I can explain why in a second. You really want justifying the system's existence even from a business perspective. With weekly bosses, you might get unlucky and not receive the one talent upgrade material you need out of three. But you know that as long as you keep farming weekly bosses, before long, you will have enough dream solvent to make it happen yourself. I think he's going to make an artifact pity system to where eventually you will get a good artifact. But the problem is that it takes an, in, an infinite system that's supposed to be infinite and making it into a finite system, which would thusly like kill any progression to, that the players could make in any sense whatsoever. So like if you're saying that we should get a perfect artifact, that is not a good idea. But I'm hoping that you know that. Unlike with artifact farming, well, say, these systems give you a clear end goal to work towards. Right. You won't even have to use them if you just happen to get lucky, but if you aren't lucky, it doesn't completely invalidate the time and resources you had just put in. If a system like the one I'm about to describe uh -huh. is added to Genshin Impact, I genuinely believe that it would greatly improve the player experience while also better accomplishing the original goal of getting players to continuously sink time into the game by simply being more intuitive. I have two separate concepts for implementations okay, since there are it. many possibilities, each with some pros and cons. The let's first one it. focuses on artifact main stats. Let's say that at some kind of station, you can break down sands, goblets, or circlets into okay. that artifact type's essence, which represents the broken artifact's main stat. Okay. When you have enough of a single stat, you can consume them to change any artifact's main stat to that one. This works because as you farm, you are going to end up getting main stats that are good, but not the specific one you were looking for. Okay. In this scenario, and in ones where you have a good main stat, but absolutely terrible substats, that artifact won't be completely useless since it can contribute to a better artifact later down the line. And yeah, if the new main stat was one of the subsets, it would have to be replaced, probably randomly. So they actually have a system like this in a game called Summoner's War. They have like these little stones where you can like, if you have a good main stat, then you can re-roll your substats. So this already does exist in other games. And to be honest, it is definitely still AIDS. Let's continue. Essence like this would also incentivize you to upgrade artifacts you normally wouldn't care about due to their main stat, since you could just replace it. I feel like this system is a little bit less useful now than it would have been previously due to the addition of more characters that scale off of stats that used to be considered useless, but it would still make things much easier in terms of being able to get solid 4-piece sets and retains the initial design of certain main stats being more rare without making them impossible to farm. Substats would still for the most part be outside of player control, so this style would appeal more to players that lean on the casual side, since it would greatly increase your chances of getting good artifacts, and only slightly help your odds of getting a great artifact. My second implementation instead focuses on substats. First off, make 5 star artifacts always be- Okay, so the first solution, I will just say this, okay? You, so you want to talk about changing the main stat of the item. That's a good idea. Uh, but having to go through all like the like the hoops and jumping through them and like getting like x amount of things that way you can change the x amount of shit over here that's like fine like if you want to do that like, fine but here's the reality flowers and feathers their main stat is always already good it's always already good so that doesn't won't benefit that system at all and for sands and hats it's already really not that bad in your own example you even showed the take it the cryo damage and change the hp percent to a cryo damage cup right like you could do that or you could just do all elemental damage bonus and then eliminate seven options and that way farming just becomes easier and you wouldn't have to go through all that bullshit right just make all elemental damage bonus i i just feel like it's a much better solution like th this solution is still fine but like the other one just makes it feel a lot more rewarding just let players pick the artifact they actually want to farm and then all elemental damage bonus my opinion begin with four substats because there's and then also make everything weighted the same there's no reason why it shouldn't all right so now for the idea let's say a new resource is added to domain drops using these would allow you to re-roll any particular aspect of an artifact substats okay. you could re-roll a substats tier re-roll what substat is in a slot and for fully upgraded artifacts you can re-roll the distribution of upgrades However, by spending either a higher rarity version of this resource or simply spending a greater amount at once, you can guarantee the option you want instead of re-rolling. No matter what, you are still at the mercy of RNG, but this at least gives you some form of concrete progress towards your goal. Wait, what do you mean? You can guarantee a rarity version of this resource or simply spending a greater amount at once, you can guarantee the option you want instead of re-rolling. No matter what, you are still at the mercy of RNG, 
but this at least gives you some form of concrete progress towards your goal on every domain run. Nah, that also would not feel good at all because then players would just never want, they would never want to roll any artifact unless they had that resource built up. And then if they had all that resource and then they were to roll it because the system was implemented, it would feel so much worse losing that way than it would uh, the original way. So uh, I don't think that would be a good idea either. Being luckier and getting a good artifact at the gate is still rewarding rewarded since you don't have to invest as much and you wouldn't be able to get your ideal artifact without spending a lot of time but with this your end goal would at least be feasible this style obviously appeals much more to hardcore players since you need to spend way more investment to get any kind of payout but it would also make for much more rewarding final out yeah but free to play players and casual players would just feel fucking stupid rolling anything like they would just feel they would just feel fucking dumb like once there is a system that is better than a previous system that is the only system that people will use which is why they need to make like the status quo and like the average roller feel better by having just the odds be a lot more in your favor by once again third time all elemental damage bonus pick your artifacts it's that simple outcomes so yeah, while of course Hoyaverse giving players some initial choice in farming artifacts wouldn't hurt, I can't say it would be enough to motivate me to get back to hitting domains. I really do think artifact farming continues to be the worst aspect of the entire game. And the problem is, is that once you beat all the content, it's the only thing that you're left with. So the worst aspect of the game that you're claiming is also the only thing that you can do once you've beaten everything else. So yes, it is quite pain. It is quite pain, but... But I do like how you slip that in there in a nice way to where uh, Genshin Zoomers who cry at everything won't notice that you're saying, hey, the game state's bad. Smart man, smart man. And seeing that we're almost two years in, it kind of hurts to see <sighs> it's gone essentially unchanged, but that doesn't mean it can't be changed now. I'm gonna stay hopeful because Hoyaverse has made system adjustments in the past because of player feedback, and yeah, I just really <gasps> don't want to try my luck for a Dendro Damage Cup when those are released. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys found this video to be interesting or True. insightful. It was good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and back my claim even more real quick. Let me tell you why my system was again. His system was very good. I did feel like it had some flaws and feel free to point out the flaws uh, in mine as well. But I can actually literally show you why mine is so fucking solid. So people would say, if anybody says, well, they don't really have the systems of which you talked about. Well, yes, they actually already do. If you go to the wish system, uh, if you look at the chart of course, you just add this feature to the artifact domain. You just chart a course for the artifacts that you want. Like it's that easy. That system is already implemented in the game. And then uh, there should also be, here we go, Miss Splitter Reform. Forge, gain a 24% elemental damage bonus for all elements. Notice how it doesn't say a 24% hydro, cryo, electro, dendro, animo, geo, fucking pyro bonus. It's just all elements. Both systems are already in the game. They're already in the fucking game. So why don't we just use them for better? It, it, like, it, for the better. It's, it's that easy. You don't, make, you don't need to make all this complex shit. All the systems that I asked for are already in the game. And thus ends my TED talk. I like seeing other creators talking critically. Uh, it's nice. Red, Red Flame, um, I think that was an amazing video. Uh, chat, make sure to go uh, subscribe to his channel. Uh, that was really sick. And also, this is a YouTube video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and go follow my Twitch if you enjoy this content. Chat, what do you think of the video? My video, of course. My reaction to the video. One for good, two for bad. What do you think? Very good, Pong. Thank you for filling my ego in my echo chamber of lies. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.